ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗ್ಯಾದರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟುಡೇ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಅವರ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ್ ನೀವು ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೀರಾ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಯಾರು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಡಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗ್ಯಾದರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟುಡೇ ಟು ಪೇ ಅವರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಗೌಡ ಆರ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಗೈಡ್ ಮೆಂಟಾರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಲೀಡರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಗೌಡ was the quintessential multitasker he had activities in various fields like his chosen profession that of a pathologist as an administrator as a theater personality as a journalist and as a writer and he excelled in every one of those fields he has left behind him a huge number of friends and students who always looked up to him for guidance and he has spread a lot of good and a lot of happiness among the people with whom he came in contact it is indeed a huge loss we have lost him on the 2nd of february we will very sorely miss him we are here today to pay our respects to him uh the plan for the evening is for dr subhash to give the introductory remarks followed by a minute of silent prayer for dr gowda and then about 10 minutes of prayer songs one bhava geete and one uh, prayer per se and then we will invite most of you who perhaps want to say a few words to sequentially uh, say what you would like to uh, for dr gowda um, for time constraints we may not be able to accommodate everybody please bear with us you can always put your remarks in the chat box and when the time comes if you would like to speak kindly raise your hands on the zoom platform uh, and if you are not familiar with that process you can perhaps write it in the chat box myself and suresh uh, we will be monitoring the chat box and we will try and accommodate as many people as possible may i now invite dr subhash the president of bmc aa and the chairman of bmc dt to give his opening remarks dr subhash subhash sir ellarigo namaskara dear friends it's with a deep sense of sorrow that we have come to console and condole the passing away of professor k m krishnavas gowda and pray to the almighty to give strength to his family to bear the loss wednesday 2nd february 2022 was a black day in the history of bmc as it lost one of its distinguished alumni he was the founder chairman of bmc dt and was an integral part of the all the activities of uh, our alumni association since its inception our loss is irreplaceable so we will start the prayer meeting and i will ha- hand over to lakshman to proceed further i recognize the presence of dr gowda's family mrs pallavi from the united states vijayamma and dr gowda's son who have joined us from bangalore um, we will now have a minute of silent prayer praying for dr gowda's soul to rest in peace one minute of silence please
Thank you very much. Kindly bear with me for a few seconds when I share my screen and enable the computer sound to be heard by all of you. Uh, can you see the screen, please? Yes, sir. Yeah. We'll have two numbers.
पति राघव राजा राम पति पावन May I now invite Dr. Suresh, the Secretary of BMC Development Trust, to say a few words. Uh, after that, we haven't uh, had any specific list of speakers. As I said earlier, those of you who wish to speak may kindly uh, raise the hand on the Zoom platform or write in the chat box, and uh, uh, we would try to accommodate as many people as possible. Dr. Suresh, please. Yes, Good evening to all and uh, namaste to the family members of Dr. Gowda. It's very unfortunate and sad news that uh, Dr. K. M. Srinivas Gowda is no more with us. Personally, it's a huge loss for me and also to BMC Alumni Association. <clears throat> I knew Dr. Gowda from 2001 when I was working in uh, Kim's. He is the one who brought me into this alumni association and provided me an opportunity to serve in the association. In initial days, uh, he used to support and encourage me a lot and guide me in decision making. In fact, all the written communication which I was supposed to do was done by him only as his vocabulary and writing skills were too good. He was very keen that sentences must be grammatically correct and meaningful. 
in fact all the citations for alumni awards were written by him only until his last days which was duly appreciated by all of us he was the main founder of bmc alumni association and bmc development trust and he remained as a backbone for these two organization until his health he was actively involved in all the activities of bmc alumni association and bmc development trust and guided juniors like me continuously as a principal of kims he was very responsible for the overall development of the institution and when he was registrar of rghs he proved himself as a very able administrator which is recognized by many even today he was a person with impeccable integrity and multifaceted personality he was always eager to do something constructive and was supporting people trying to do such work his wit and humor is well known as also his contextual jokes which we are all enjoyed during the meetings he was extremely short tempered but by heart he was too generous and magnanimous personally i have discussed argued and fought with him on many occasions but finally we were able to come to some logical conclusion at last finally i pray the almighty to give rest and eternal peace to his immortal soul and provide strength to his family members to bear this great loss namaste om shanti thank you all thank you suresh uh, dr dk shrinivas sir please uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity my tribute to him is titled as the other side of coin am i audible yes sir as you are the other side of coin and i have two narratives about it one attributes of dr shrinivas gowda i used to call him shrinivas he would call me dks and the, the first is attributes of shrinivas gowda and the second is best tributes the best tribute now i met him at st john's medical college when uh, the pathology department of st john's medical college was celebrating their silver jubilee i had gone there on invitation from jipper pondicherry to conduct a teacher training program at the inaugural session uh, during tea i was introduced to him that's how i met him first thereafter we had a good relationship as some of you know that we were uh, working partners with dr shekha now dr shrinivas gowda some of the attributes are he was frank who who was not worried about what others think about his actions man of uh, conventions man of convictions uh, self belief and self control that is lakshmana rekha i'll come to that later then kindness to other beings when i say other beings not only human beings was extremely kind to animals and also even to the plants so whatever lived in this universe he was very kind to them an example of these are he was as you all know the chairman of the bangalore staff club and he was quite proud of that as one of his duties was during the racing season there was a cup called governor's cup and the governor of the state was always invited for that and uh, madam rama devi was the governor when he was the chairman of the btc and therefore as per his duty when uh, the governor came to the turf club he went to receive uh, her along with the stewards and rama he was then a registrar of the rajiv gandhi university so rama devi was shocked to see him there and he said what are you doing here <laughs> and as i told you he was not worried about his you know uh, so he said in his own cool way madam i am the chairman of the btc and uh, you know i am very fond of horse racing because the it this is a skilled game and he mentioned the skill the three skills he said um, the i am very fond of horses this is a game of skills the, the breeding is a skill training the horses is a skill and of course riding is a skill but also it teaches the harmony between the rider and the horse can you believe this madam could not speak anything more and that explained his you know his steadfastness and his courage to say what he wanted to say and of course the other side of the coin is that 
he was fond of many things. And some people could raise their eyebrows about his fondness of these things. For instance, he was fond of many clubs. He was a member of many clubs. And he was, of course, as we said, he was very fond of horse racing. Many people think that it is a gambling one. He was very fond of playing rummy. And on wet, I believe the Decanon said on Wednesdays and Sunday, I know about Sundays, the Sunday evening, whatever you do, till 7.30, he would not come out. He had his own group of players and they would go to his place and play rummy there. And then um, he would say, look here, Sunday, don't call me anywhere. Sunday evening, I'm booked. That was his uh, this thing. And he enjoyed playing rummy. Of course, there was. And then, um, so horse racing, playing cards, they were all, you know, and then he was also fond of a, a good drink with his friends. So all these three things, people say, look here, if my grandmother or great mother, was, if I say that, she would certainly raise her eyebrows. But then, but then, if I could, uh, you know, quote Gita here, that uh, this is from chapter three, seventh sloka. It says, uh, I will only give the first sentence that yastva indriyani manasa niyamya. The three words are the one who keeps his indriyas, the senses, niyama, that is controlled. And he had that control. That is what I said, the Lakshmana Rekha. He knew how not to cross Lakshmana Rekha. Even Sita crossed the Lakshmana Rekha and then had, had to you know, get into problems, but not uh, Srinivas Gauda. So that was his greatness. It, this only teaches us that he was in a way role model to us, that yes, enjoy the life, but remember always, there is always a limit and never cross this limit. I think this way, he gave us a lot of, uh, shall, shall we say, to what to do in our life. That is, a, these are such important things. And finally, because of the time limitation, I will be very brief. Finally, the best attribute I heard was this, that I spoke to uh, Vijayamma, so he's actually Mrs. Vijayalakshmi, but many of us call her with fondness Vijayamma. And uh, I spoke to her last evening around nine o'clock and we were, as we were talking, she said, and these are the beautiful words from her, and that is that, uh, one thing. yes. She said, I am a lucky person. I was given a life partner with whom I had a harmonious life. He never raised his you know, temper. And even now when he was not too well, that he would like two of us sit together and take dinner. He would never, never allow us to feed. That is, that is the guts. That is the you know, determination he had. And when she said this, that I was so lucky to have him as a partner, and I thank God for this. Can't, can there be a better tribute? Can there be a better thing to remember him? Thank you very much for giving this small opportunity. Thank you, sir. Uh, Venki, would you like to say some words? Uh, I know that you may be constrained for time. Can you unmute yourself, please? Uh, Lakshman, thank you. Um, good evening to Mrs. Gowda and uh, their lovely children who live in the United States. My relationship with Dr. Srinivas Gowda was quite a bit different than obviously his peers. Um, I was his student, but the relationship I had with him was somewhat different because of some of the colleagues in the faculty in pathology who happened to be very close friend of my brother's at BMC. So I got to know Dr. Srinivas Gauda more as time went on, not only as a teacher and a mentor, but also um, as a friend that he was to so many. And even though I, I left Bangalore uh, decades ago, um, as are many of his very close friends who are on this call, including Dr. Vasudev Raju, Dr. Ramdas, who are his uh, peers in the Department of Pathology. His impact on 
the life of the BMC alumni cannot be understated. Um, his generosity of purpose, the generosity of time, the single-minded dedication he had to the cause of BMC and its alumni, to the growth, to the reputation of the organization. And he did everything that he possibly could and more. To the point he became synonymous with what Bangalore Medical College is today. He was ubiquitous in his presence. There was not a time you could go to BMC and not find Dr. Srinivas Gowda physically present on campus. And I've had the good fortune and privilege of, of doing so. And the last time I met him was just over two years ago when we had a gathering of my class and he was one of our speakers. And the words of wisdom he spoke on that day will ring true for many, many years. And as years have moved on, his contributions become even more pronounced in what they mean to everybody. A thorough professional, a man of extraordinary integrity, extraordinary sense of purpose, dedication, commitment, a thorough professional in every sense of the word, and an extraordinary physician, and a multifaceted leader who wore so many hats that it's hard to understand how he found the time and the energy to do it. But he did, and he was exemplary in the way he demonstrated his leadership and his commitment to a cause. And I say this with utmost humility that we were fortunate to have had the good fortune to rub shoulders with Dr. Srinivas Gowda. And his shadow looms larger than anything one can imagine over the entire BMC family. And his loss is beyond comprehension and there'll be none like him going forward. And we have to drive, derive our strength from the commitment and dedication and energy he demonstrated in his life, which will carry not only us, but generations beyond to do good to everything one touches. And I cannot even imagine what Dr. Gauda's family is going through at this time, and we have the good fortune of seeing them on this platform today. Our respects to Dr. Gauda and his family. Thank you, Venki. Nagesh, sir. Unmute yourself, sir. Sir, you're muted, Dr. Nagesh. Please unmute. Yeah. Yeah. You're audible now, sir. Please go ahead. So you muted again. We have lost the video also. Unmute. Now, now you're okay, sir. Please start. Namaskara. My association with uh, Srinath Gowda dates back to 57 years. I joined uh, Nanta College in 2000. Last user, is, is it the connection? Audible? Uh, it's now audible, sir. Please go ahead. You're muted. Yeah. You're, yeah. Please start talking, sir. We may be able to hear you if your bandwidth is okay. Sir, there is some technical issue. We're not able to hear you nor uh, see you. Okay. Uh, now? Now it's better, sir. Please continue yeah. like that. Don't touch any buttons, sir. Just yeah. talk. Yeah. 
So all the four of us, along with Dr. Srinivas Gowda, we were discussing various issues because he was profoundly influenced by uh, Lankesh and Tejasvi. Later, in the later years, my cousin, late C.R. Simha and Srinivas Gowda were very good friends. They were the ones founders of the Bangalore Little Theater. And during 1970s, both theater in English and Kannada were at their peak. And I was fortunate to meet Dr. Gowda in Sima's house many times and discuss about uh, Lankesh, Tejasvi, and both were very genius, both Gowda and my cousin Sima. And uh, when he became uh, the registrar or when he was a Senate member of the Rajiv uh, Gandhi University, I contested for the Dental Council of India and he was the one who proposed my name and also asked all Senate members to vote for me. And I won the election largely due to Dr. Srinivas Gowda. As somebody said, he was very witty and humor. In one of the functions in Rajiv Gandhi University, he was telling Dr. Nagesh whether you are the employee of RV or RGHS. You are more regular to the university to the many of the employees than many of the employees. And recently we brought about a book on the centenary celebration of Dr. Ramchandra, our founder principal, and he volunteered to write one page on Dr. Ramchandra and about the dental college. Then in 2003 and four, we went to US to attend the KSMD conference and uh, to raise the funds for the Golden Jubilee of the uh, BMC. And we were fortunate to have Dr. Ram Krishna, Dr. Setu Madhavan, Dr. Lakshman Prasad, who supported us to raise a, a sizable amount of fund for that. He was also telling in one of the meetings, I remember when she Siddharamaya was the finance minister, he spoke to say, uh, Mr. Siddharamaya and asked him to include the budget provision for the Golden Jubilee of the BMC. All his contacts with bureaucrats and politicians, he didn't use for his personal benefits, he used for the organization to which he belonged, whether university, BMC, or the Kings. So he was a multifaceted personality with whom I had a very good acquaintance for decades together, and certainly we miss him very much. And I want to suggest one thing, Sir, you have muted yourself again, sir. Sir, you are not audible. You have muted yourself again. So that, uh, You're okay now. Please go ahead. Yeah. Certain uh, respect to him. We can invite people from different walks of life. I'm sure Dr. Lakshman will work out. And uh, certainly, I'd like to make a, a very humble contribution and my sympathies to the family and pray Almighty for his soul to rest in peace and family to have sufficient strength to withstand this loss. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, Ramdas, would you like to say a few words, please? Yeah, uh, this is Ramadas from Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, Srinivas Gowda has always been a very good friend and my condolences to Mrs. Vijaya and the children. Mrs. Vijaya used to make the best puris in the world. You can eat 15, 20 of those as my friends know that I can. And among his many different accomplishments, Srinivas Gowda was, a, was fond of music and our friend late Sohail and all of us used to have impromptu music sessions with good food in his house or in the college. And he was always helpful to the medical students and the alumni. And I among all of you and others, Miss him very much and Om Shanti to the family. Thank you, Ramdas. Uh, Dr. Saroja, Nirmath Hiltira. 
Dr. Saroja is the Vice President of the Alumni Association. Yeah, unmute yourself, please. Hello, Namaskara. I am Adivan. Yes, you are. Boshya, in the Sandarbha Bharat, in the Navindu Osir Lila, Goudro, Chiranji, and Kumiti, the Nana. Yaw the Alumni Association, Alu, Avrila, Yava, Karakramano, Nadita Lila. Our beams alumni and Pariyava the history of Vishnu Slodro. Boshya, Alumni Association, Jivanta Vagiro the K, Ilivargo, Badiki Beladu. Maravag Ninturo the K, Shinvas Godre Adeke Daturunta Hedder Tapagala Mosha our contacts Mate Paradesh the Livides the Liron Tower as Nehitro or classmates. So our elder in law, even to BMC Alumni Association, Euro the K, Nan President to Vice President to Office Bearer. Yellru Agiro on Tha Namal Yellow and what to what Tagi Kurko Nadu Hokta or the Kekarana BMC Alumni Association Yerodrinle Our Auditorium Madigro Ainun Matan Herbeku and Tankota Idito Our BMC student Agidro Nanak Maestro Pathology Maestro Nano Medical College Lidaga Amele Silver Jubilee Bangalore Medical College Silver Jubilee in Ali Auru um, the secretary Agidro, you know, ah, photo will done a trade. Amele, Diamond Jubilee. Bosha, Corona Barde Huidre, Platinum Jubilee Saha, our Samaksham de la Marti to Marti Brienta and Satan again. Our undo would saha the packet Yavatu Nirusaha Irila, Yar Yene Heli, our Dumbi Ronta or Hilde Beku, our Lu convinced to my Tidro. Our one do. Our Iroka Ella Chaitanya Muki Haditaito. Our Ilde Iroan Tadena Nins Kondre, Bosha Mundenamge BMC Alumni Association and now Opultiva, our Ilde Ronta, Shunya and Bersutiva and Tahili Nanige Anmana Namige Higan Spec Wontandre or Mani Urige or a pretty patrege, Bandulge. Adjusto kasta akti dio nanu hislare. Manusia wandi na hogle beko i delu ko gottu. Adre, awril deiru antha dina nau nens kulo ko agel antha dina manusia nastit pa yavaglo sada namjata irat tenle nau pauste. Ibatto awru namode nila adre awrat pa yavaglo namjata idde irat tenta heli awru elitru kuda nama. Nam Ella Karakramagulu Nam Benkin de Taretan and Havastin. Our Atmuke Devuru Sadgatina Needly. Our Kutumbadorge, I do come on the Barso de K, Shakti Needly in the Nan Devon Korta. Our gay Chirshanti Needly in the Hilly, Nan Korta. Namskara. Namskara. Then you are the Saraja. Doctor Vasdev Raju, would you like to say something, sir? Uh, thank you, Lakshman. Uh, I <laughs> really don't know what to say. I I know Sin was since 1966 or something like that, and from about 69, 70, spent a lot of time with him and have been close and. The difference between him and me was whatever he did, he did in an excellent way. And like I told Pallavi, he was not just a jack of all trades, he was a master of all trades. It is uncanny how good he was in so many fields. And as recently as three years ago, his instant recall of various things was really, really, really unbelievable. I left India in 76, four or five years before that, we spent an enormous amount of time together. And after that, 
you know, all my trips to India, which have been many, we never miss seeing each other many times, more than once or twice on my trips. And I was very, very lucky to call him a friend. Srinivas, Vijaya and the children are all wonderful people. I was lucky when on his visits, he came and spent some time with us and we enjoyed things. We had a lot of common interests. He introduced me to a lot of new things and taught me a lot of new things. His devotion to the Alumni Association and to the Bone Marrow Registry was really unmatched. No, having been an alumnus of BMC, I remember this is at least the third iteration of the Alumni Association and the most successful one. Before that, there were a couple of attempts to get this together and didn't succeed. Then this has been extraordinarily successful in no small part, thanks to Srinivas. I hope this continues as his legacy. And all I can say is, I hope God gives the strength to Vijaya and the children to bear this extraordinary loss. I will miss him always. As I told Vijaya, it's hard for me to think of coming to Bangalore and not seeing Srinivas. God bless his soul. Thank you. Dr. Sampath Kumar? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, sir. Namaskara. I am so saddened and I convey our most heartfelt condolences to Vijay and the family. My wife joins me in adding her sympathies to the family and I hope and pray that they will be able to bear this loss. I met Srinivas in 1962. Our friendship extends to more than 60 years. And I don't see my other class fellows, uh, Jai Rajan. Is he there? Uh, I don't think he has logged in, sir. Yeah. Um, Dr. Gerard Arana from Chicago and Ramesh from uh, California and San Francisco. We were a gang of five recognized uh, in the Bangalore Medical College. And we developed a reputation of being some of the most brilliant students in that college. And I left all in, uh, Bangalore in 1969. So also Gerard and Ramesh. But I have kept in touch. Now I went to All India Institute of Medical Sciences. And the contrast between Bangalore Medical College and All India Institute, I will reiterate to you, is what Srinivas has done. The All India Institute is a national importance institution. But the alumni of uh, All India Institute contributed nothing to their alma mater. Srinivas's efforts has elevated Bangalore Medical College to the second rank in among the medical colleges in the country. In addition, the contributions that the alumni have made to Bangalore Medical College is enormous. There's a digital library, there is an auditorium, there is a laboratory. He even established a bone marrow transplantation uh, facility and brought together the entire alumnus of, uh, of Bangalore Medical College, especially the 62 batch. And we used to celebrate an annual meeting every December. And it was a wonderful time when we could all gather and exchange uh, our views. And uh, prominently, a large number of uh, the uh, alumni from Bangalore Medical College have contributed a lot to the development of medicine, techniques, uh, teaching, etc., all over the world. It is not just here. Like, for example, Gerard Arana was the professor and head of the Department of Surgery at the Loyola University in Chicago. And he operated on the Cardinal of Chicago successfully for a pancreatic cancer. And he contributed a lot to teaching and educating students there. Ramesh is a cardiologist and his innovative 
uh, efforts uh, made uh, some international news when he produced a catheter that could be used for uh, doing an angiography in patients with the tricuspid regurgitation, which could not be assessed previously. And I have worked in All India Institute and elevated myself to the position of uh, Chief of Cardiothoracic Center before I retired. Jairajan has been one of the most respected and most wanted physician in Bangalore. He looked after my family and he looked after Srinivas all these years. I have great gratitude for him for his compassionate approach to students, for, to doctors, to patients, etc., and particularly his attention to Srinivas's health. So may God bless all of you and may God give you all. I also have uh, like a family member and I must say that his parents treated me like one of their own uh, children. And I'm most grateful to that family and I empathize with them. And I want to convey my greatest uh, uh, gratitude to that family and to Srinivas. He will never leave my heart. He is uh, probably physically not here, but spiritually he is with us and will be with us forever. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I have not seen, and unless I have missed it, any hands raised or uh, any requests in the chat box. Um, so with your permission, ladies and gentlemen, I'll uh, uh, end this meeting with the last few words. I know it's a somber moment. Um, oh, before I say that, I know that we understand if you cannot speak, but I think it's right that we check if Srinivas Gauda's family members would like to say anything. Uh, there is no pressure for you to say anything, but if you would like to, we would like to give you the opportunity. All right. So, All right. Uh, so, uh, sorry, Dr. Uh, Lakshman, may, uh, I, may I say something? Please, 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 please. Yes. Um, I, just, uh, um, I just wanted to say that BMC, what uh, daddy was, uh, uh, what, what defined him, what made him just, you know, uh, just as important as uh, his family, it was everything to dad. Um, he was very proud of it. He was so, uh, um, he, was, he felt privileged and blessed to be part of it as a student, as a teacher, and now with the alumni, he was extremely proud of all of the things that BMC, its alumni, his friends, everything um, that BMC achieved. And uh, somehow he could be in, he could be everywhere all of the time with all of you. And uh, uh, I don't know, he never ever said he had no time for things. He would uh, wake up very early in the morning, do all of his uh, writing, his reporting on his walks, always multitasking, and he would never ever say he had no time for something. And uh, just uh, listening to all of you, his friendships, Dr. Sampat Kumar, Dr. Vasudev Raju, um, his, uh, Dr. Ramesh is not on the call, but it's, it was a life well lived, made uh, so much more better than uh, with all of your friendships, with all of your presence. He would have loved to hear what all you're saying about him. He would always say, um, when he got off the call with some of you, he would, uh, if we said, who were you speaking to? He would say, I was listening to music because he would just love what all of you would say to him and about him. I'm sure he would be so, so happy to listen to this meeting today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, Pallavi. Thank you, Pallavi. Uh, 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 before we end, I would like to put on record my personal feelings of you know, great privilege in being associated with him since uh, very closely since year 2000. He was our teacher, as Venki said, we were classmates. We knew him well, but from the year 2000 onwards, we have had a very close uh, relationship. I cherished my discussions with him 
and I think we will miss him very sorely. Uh, people talked about his sense of humor. Uh, I second it very strongly. Even though it's a somber moment, I would like to, before we end, uh, give one of the definitions that Dr. Goda taught me. We were in the Alumni Association. He was a go-getter. He had to do things and for the organization, and he was always getting things done. And obviously, in a, in a democratic institution, there would be some voices which would not be for some of his ideas. And so he used to tell me, Lakshman, democracy is very important. Democracy is very good. But it must be guided democracy. And his definition, he put forward to me, guided democracy essentially means that you do what you want to do and see to it that you get it passed in the next EC meeting. With that simple, very honest approach, he has helped not only the Bangalore Medical College, but several institutions that he was associated with. We miss him. And I end this meeting with a thank you to all of you for attending this meeting. Namaskara.